Andrew. Andrew. What? It's time. Good morning, world. It is 9.01 a.m. in the morning in the old town of Geneva. Wait up, I've got something to do. Um, and we are at Rue de Marche at the Geneva Swatch store. We have a spot in the queue, and that's where I want to start this story. Lucy, you are holding a spot for us in this queue. I am. Yes. And for that, I'm very grateful. I'd like you to have a copy of our magazine. Oh, thank you. Just to read while you wait. Well, it's very interesting because I happen to be a watchmaker. Wow, what are the odds in Switzerland, the first person we speak to? And why are you here? Why would you come out so early for this? Well, I'm here today because I'm passionate about watchmaking and yeah. everything. Is, like, I actually started my collection with swatches. That's what got me into watchmaking and then made me want to start a career in, in watchmaking. We got here at 8.15 for a 9am open, so not that committed to be honest. Excuse me, gentlemen. What time did you queue up this morning? When were you here? Midnight. Oh, look at your pajamas. That's so cute. Okay, how long have you been here? Wait, what time? Midnight. 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 Okay. Which which one are you getting? Which watch? Um. The moon one. Which blue? The moon one. The moon one. Okay. <laughs> okay. What about you, sir? Uh, maybe the Saturn. Saturn. Yeah. Okay. I'm safe. The one I want. No one is choosing. Time. Time and Time. tide. See, we have so many fans in Geneva, Marcus. We, we really have to move to Europe. Thank you, good luck. You. I, think you, I think you're going to get one. So many scalpers in this line, man. Yeah. Uh, maybe I like uh, Jupiter. Okay. Well, again, we're talking to the winners here. What about you, sir? You look very, very, very pleased with yourself. Yes, I'm a big fan of the channel. Thank you very much. Nice yes, to sir. meet you. And your name is? Louis. Louis. Louis, what are we going for? Uh, I think for the Pluto. The Pluto? Yes, sir. Excellent. When you heard about the Swatch and Amiga collaboration, did you imagine it would be this? Um, not really, no. It's wild, know. isn't it? It is wild. Yeah. I think it opens a door for crazy, crazy things to come in the future, honestly, for other brands as well. Can I just say, Mr. Hayek, I think, is a genius. Yes, he sir. did it in 83, he did it into 2022. Yes. Absolutely yes. crazy. And we come from the same place. I'm from, uh, originally from Lebanon. Yeah. So is he. Oh, amazing. Yeah. <laughs> Lebanese genius right here. Louis, thanks very much, man. Thank you, sir. Actually, I want to give Louis a magazine. Enjoy it. Just, just something to read while you wait. Thank you. <laughs> okay. Thanks, Louis. Yeah. In Australia, there were 3,000 people queuing up in Sydney. Seriously? Yeah. For me, it's a unique occasion yeah. to have an Omega Swatch. Yeah, it really is. And are you going to keep it for yourself? Yeah. Yeah. Well, well, well. And your name is, sir? Roy Davidoff. Roy Davidoff. You might know Roy Davidoff from such accounts as Roy Davidoff. And why is this such a... This feels like a gala. It feels like a festival. What's happening here? Why is everyone coming out for this? Nuts. Yeah. So cool. <laughs> it really is, isn't it? Yeah. It's brilliant. Yeah. Even though it'll be available in a couple of weeks online. Yes. Uh, everybody, <laughs> no, it's like a, it's like a new iPhone drop. Everybody wants it before we ask. People seem to love the drama of, of the queue up, the, the the event, and it, it, it's Perfect. almost like in '83, you know, Swatch injected fun into something that was very serious and very. It was obviously it was a sophisticated hobby. It definitely does. This is going to rehype. Um, both brands, yep. because now people are asking crazy prices for a regular Omega Swatch. Yep. And when you can actually get an Omega for cheaper than that. And it's going to put forward bioceramic, which, yes. which is patented by, by Swatch and a really cool material. Yep. And how do you how do you describe the feel of bioceramic in the hand? Because it's very strange, isn't it? So light. It yeah. feels like uh, owning a Richard Meal, except yeah. you know a thousandth of the price. Yep, yep. The one. Which one are you going to choose? Um, the pastel blue. Oh, the the mission to Uranus. is fantastic. Yeah. And what about you, sir? I think I got the pink one for my wife. Oh, you are a <laughs> better husband than me, my man. And you, Artie, you've already got the pastel pink uh, on the hoodie, yeah. so you don't need this. Oh wow, mic uh, drop. Just to go with this one. Yes, to go with the Alaska. Yeah, yeah. Gentlemen, hello. Yeah, wow, that's, that's a flex. Oh, that's you. a flex. Yeah. Does this new collaboration make you? feel differently about your Rolex. I don't give a shit. <laughs> <laughs> really. 
This is owner of uh, Phil and Marie. Hello, Andrew McCutcheon, Time and Tide. Yeah. Look, hey, Phil and Marie, what an amazing story. What a, what a brand. Have you read the 75 articles we've published on Time and Tide? Yeah, of course. And you, you help us a lot from the beginning, you know, for exactly. the Kickstarter, etc. This is like when a band gets famous and, and I claim to have a t shirt People from when. I think we, 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 we put a lot of crazy amount of money in marketing, but yep. actually, no, we. We, we made 10 prototypes, we sent one to you, one to yes, exactly. other people. And, and we loved it. And like we, obviously from day one, the Fel and Mari story was something we were getting behind. This is an incredible meet. I'm actually, I'm kind of losing my whole entertainer shtick here because I'm really glad to meet you, man. Thank you. Thank yep. You. So, this is a future star of the watch industry. Fel and Mari, in an unbelievably short time, has not only created a name for itself, it's also, to me, epitomizing what is different about the new breed of watchmakers and watch brands, which is you have a social conscience. Can we talk a little bit about what's happening on Loop This right now? Uh, Loop This, I, wow. I, it's uh, crazy. In one day, 25,000 US dollars. There's a dollars. bid on, uh, on a watch that has been kindly donated. But it's, is, the story only begins. But, We're going to see this man in 30 years with a little <laughs> bit of salt and pepper in his beard. He'll be like Philippe Dufour, like F.B. Jean, yeah. well, hopefully like me, I don't know about that. I just woke up on the street under a blanket, yeah. so... No, I'm not following, they're following me. That's what I thought. You have that look of a queen. Hey, you have a swatch. How many, was that the first watch you ever had or...? It's the, the third swatch. The third swatch. Excuse me, sir, sir. Which one are you going to choose? Whoa, whoa, wait, easy, easy, cool your jets. It's not my fault. I, I, didn't, make, I didn't make it so popular. Don't die. I'm hopeful that because it's not limited, there'll actually be some stock here. Yes, well, there are some rooms going around that there are 550 in this store. We counted and you're 551. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so Marcus has an idea, which Marcus, it's, it's, I'm ambivalent about this. He wants to now go into the store. He wants us to try and talk our way into the store and get the action of the, the cash register dinging away. I think our chances are about less than 5%, but I like a challenge. I am in the center of a hurricane, of a cultural phenomenon that is happening right now. All around the world, I'm getting goosebumps talking about it. This is the most significant moment for the watch industry since 1983, I'm calling it. There are thousands of people queuing up for watches all around the world. This de-snobs watches, it, it democratizes watches, it brings watches back, the people in the queue, the diversity of people. We have children, we have the elderly, we have the wounded that are sitting with crutches that have been kindly put up the front. We have every color, every race, every accent, every language. Not many people understood English as I walked along the line. It, it feels like I'm in a Formula One grid out the front of all the cars as they rev their engines about to run me over. There'll be five in at a time. They will get a croissant here. They will have, according to the store manager, an experience as part of their purchase, and we will get the hell out of the way. Touch one, I'm gonna feel one in the hand. Oh my gosh, that is unbelievably light. Oh my gosh. In the hand, these watches are not even there. They are surreally light. Roy Davidoff was right. They, they have that otherworldly feel on the wrist like a Richard Mill. At this stage, there are some absolutely wild things happening on eBay. There's a watch that's $50,500 Australian for a moon watch with 43 bids. Is that legitimate? Is that part of the type machine? Who knows, who cares? So as we were shooting the watches over in this corner of the store, there was a little girl here who stood in the corner watching us, us do our work. And uh, this is happening right now. She's, she's getting the watch. I was worried that she wouldn't make the cut because her dad wasn't inside yet, um, but she did, so hooray. You can see the blue of the Mission to Uranus box. And also, our friend Arthur from outside before is getting the Mission to Mars, so successful mission. How do you feel? You finally get the watch. Uh, I'm 
I don't know how to say it. <laughs> I'm so happy. <laughs> very, I'm very happy. I was feel like stressed because yeah. in my head I was like, okay, um, there is one chance I can have it or I can't have it. So I was stressed. It's a happy ending to the story. Yeah. I, f I feel relieved too. Are you going to wear the watch today? What? Are you going to wear it today? Yeah. Bye. Bye. Very nice to meet you. No, no, my pleasure. My absolute pleasure. I'm so happy it ended well. <laughs> bye bye. See you, man. Okay, and just like that, we're out. Uh, we don't have watch bags in our hands. We jumped the queue in order to get that footage. It wasn't right for us to take watches, but that's not what it was about for me. This is more than a watch culture event. This is a cultural phenomenon. And this is all about the synergy of two brands coming together. Swatch, the fun watch, the disruptive watch, the watch that saved the Swiss watch industry, and Omega showing their fun side, showing the fact that they can play in a very different way with these bioceramic watches that in their hand feel <laughs> as light as Rafa's Richard Mill. I've had an unbelievable morning. I am peaked about 45 times, so I'm in desperate need of a bar. Marcus, I think it's time for you to start walking backwards and for us to start walking forwards towards a bar. Thanks for watching. What, a, what an event we've all been part of. Mr. Hayek, you are a genius.